hello uh, let's proceed so in this video what i want to do basically i want to do uh this can see from still from our end over here i want to do this uh, molding that we have at the very top that's what i want to do i'll still go back to my drawing mm, i still work with i still work for start by opening with my my that story and from my that story i need to do I'll just uh, go ahead and select this line over here, document uh, line tool, I'll try to select this line tool over here, and uh, from my line tool, uh, let me first suspend groups, suspend groups, so that I can select this uh, line individually like this, I can select that side of these lines. Mm, I'm doing so so that I can be able to offset this at some distance. So, yes, so something like this, something like that. I think I've selected all of the lines. So, what I want to do still uh, activate your line tool, activate the offset tab, then select your magic one. Basically, go to this line over right here, just basically offset it to the to that edge okay should let me try to do a better job so set that magic wand it's basically I've set it to a distance of uh, 100 so yeah at this point of list of 100 what I want to do I want to do a slab over here I'll go back to let me create a new surface element attributes surfaces and it will show its surface Services and then um, just go to place with height new and then just copy press label this is copy two copy two and just press ok and just ok and then go to design go to your slab tool go to my slab tool so instead of having it at a level of a, of a 90 it's at a level of 90 90 750 so i'll have it at a level of uh, 750 but let me increase this thickness to something like 500 yeah 500 and then or even 450 let me do 450 let me just do 450 and then the surface you can use the new surface lose the weight something like that there mm, let me first do this and then we we'll see uh, any adjustment that i need to do for my slab so i can use the magic wand Do that for the first segment, still use the magic wand. Do the same for the second segment, and then go to 3D. I have something of that nature, is a, which is quite seamless according to me. The next thing that I need to do is still the same on the same, but this time around, I just need to do for this, uh, for this uh, golden kind of texture, golden molding over here. So I'll still go back to. My keycard surface, and I think I should have adjusted this instead of 500. Let me increase, or oh, instead of 450, that is, let me see. It's gonna work with something like um, slab selection settings. Let me work with uh, what is uh, 750 minus uh. That's something like let's say 550 so 650 let's open 650 on this 650 and we'll go to 3d have something like that okay 650 seems to be quite a lot i just report back to let me work with 550 instead so selection settings and then work with uh let's work with 550 50 on this and then go back to still the same 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 point now we just need to do another readjustment of this instead of using it copy just want to use the uh, yeah golden beard now, let me use this structure golden watch and then uh, Instead of uh, 450 now, I can work with uh, 550, so I can work with 100. So 
Okay. Still is the magic wand. Mm, okay, we should have uh, this one instead of uh, 7750. Let's work with uh, 5550. And then just press OK. Still is in the magic wand. If you go ahead and just place that over there and place this on this other. Uh, this other segment right over there so that when I go to 3D okay oh, I just need to do some of the adjustments of this should be too hard to height of uh, slab selection settings okay should be not 50 550 but rather um, 9250 9250 yeah yeah, then, but still, uh, 9250 is it quite yet? I can still go to solve the elevation and try to drag this. But when I go to solve the elevation, I still have to drag it from all both sides. So I just go back to still go back to 3D. See the readjustments that I can do on this. Let's selection so it can to the 5250. Mm, so this is at a level of five. Uh, selection so it can this at a level of uh, minus 9750 minus uh, 550. That's uh, 9200, so I should place it to a level of 9200. So, yeah, select selection settings and just place this to a level of 9200. Okay, so this is at a level of 9200. Okay, so yeah, we have it at that edge at that point. Okay, so this is at a level of 9200. You can see. What you are creating up over there. The next thing that I need to do is just a, a replica of the same, but on this side, this time on this lower level over here. So yeah, I'll go to my second story. Yes, second story that is. Go back to second story. Need to work on uh, one that is on this edge over here. Okay, my walling to this edge. Mm. We need to suspend these groups. We need to offset this. Mm. This is what, uh, okay, let's see. Activate the line tool so that I can be able to, to offset. Activate the line tool, activate the offset tab, then offset the magic wand. We activate it and then basically see how much distance is added. Okay, that is at a distance, at a distance of. Uh, 100 I think uh, I can still work with this 100 instead of shifting it back so I still work with 100 but this time round uh, design the slab mm, let's work with uh, let's see this time round instead of 5515 let me work with 450 thickness on this time round let's work first with the glossy white copy one glossy white copy two and then uh, yeah and then press OK. Still need to use the just need to use this magic wand. Right about there and I go to 3D. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I have when I go to 3D. But I needed to do some readjustments over here so that I don't have a slab covering all this edge over here. So I'll go back to second story. So from this edge, I just need to split this, split tab, this kind of slab, split that in that direction. And then from this edge, I don't know, is it even, yeah, from this edge, just delete this. When I go to 3D, yeah, I'll have it come to this point. 
and I'm just moving from that edge to that edge. I also need to adjust its position. Go to class selection settings. Instead of uh, 5550, should have been 6450. Or, um, okay, 6450 slash selection settings. Should have been the level of uh, 6650. Yeah, 6650. The next thing that I just need to do, mm -hmm. let me just adjust it. Mm -hmm. Let's just give it to the same size as the one we had on the top. So it was 550. It was 550. 550. Just press OK. Yeah, let's work still with 550. Go back to second story, basically. Now, do for the gold. It's called what? Gold Arch. The gold Arch. Basically, instead of 450, you can work with 150. And this then should be to a level, to a level, to a lower level. So, instead of 5550, let's say, uh, let's first say 6000. And then instead of 150, you can knock it on 100. Then uh, activate the magic wand. Since we want to use this, uh, I'm going to go to 3D. I have it at that point, but I need to readjust this. It's not 6000, let's see, 6100 actually, should have been 6100. Yeah, so that I have it at that point. So yeah, we have something like that. So this is what we have over here, as you can see. There seem to be some textures over here that are colliding with each other. Let me see. Let's see which slab is this that is interfering with this other one. Okay, I see, I see. I try to just this one. Class selection settings, I'm starting to bring it to a level of 750. I'm to a level of 86. 8650. Yeah, like that. That will be terrible. Those textures colliding with each other. Even for this other one. This gun then seems to have so we have still select selection settings to that 9200 and 9250. No, not 250, so okay, not even 9250. Should be a lower level. 8100 like that so that uh, we don't have those textures colliding with each other and interfering with each other uh, these details may seem to be minute to you but uh, really uh, they really play a huge part in Ensuring that you come up with something, you know, something unique, something different, something that uh, is pleasing, is pleasing to your eyes, something that improves on your aesthetics. So that's basically what you're saying. And go to okay, back to 3D. You can see this is what we have. There are different uh, designs that you can do for this house. You can decide maybe you don't want to do a volume on this very top edge and decide, you know what, I'm just going to do a rail all around like the one we have over here, at the very top segment. Also needed to do, I need to do something. And then with this other edge over here, 
I need to do I though I did not indicate on this other this video but I need to do a, a rail this top over here this top segment over here you can opt to do a rail or basically just do another walling on it but I want to use the rail so alt I want to use this same 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 rail go back to my second story I love this rail from uh, this edge that they play this so a bit tragically so that I will have it just have it as such Go to 3D and see any readjustments that I need to do. Okay, I need now to set this to at a level of 6000 and something. So, 200 let's see 6200. Somewhere, something like that, actually. As you can see from my image over here, we didn't have a that back that uh, rail but I just decided to introduce it. Yeah, so that's what we have. The next thing that I want to do um, basically do let me do that quick Mazera structure on this window. This wall of this wall over here, and then basically stop it at that edge. If I do that, let me go back to ground floor. I want to readjust uh, this window. I will try to bring it well. This. Okay, now to a level like that. Just drag this a little bit. Just readjust this a little bit. I don't have this window encroaching that much. Okay, let's do that Mathera structure. So in order for me to do that Mathera structure, so in order to do that Mathera structure, just going back still to this one, uh, just to go here, yeah. element tracking bit surfaces. And then under surfaces, I just basically go to texture. The texture just basically browse, and then basically add. So what you should have done in order to come up with this Mazera texture, you can download different images of Google of uh, Mazera that are there. And then you can try to edit the size of the like what I've done over here. I just downloaded this. Uh, image from you know google and then cropped it so that i can have uh, the material structure on its own and then basically save it as an image and then you can be able now to add on it to this now the texture on your keycard so this is what i have was i want to do this kind of text texture now on this this so you just press ok and then there's some readjustments that I can do over here in terms of the horizontal and vertical but basically what I prefer to do is basically apply the texture then once you apply the texture it can come to and do the readjustments of this the vertical size and the horizontal sizes so just press new and then save this as save this as Mazeras one save this as Mazeras Mazeras one. There are different structures of Mazeras that you can use, or you can opt even not use Mazeras and use different you know, uh, cladings that are present there. So let's press OK. So basically, I'll just go select my wall over here. Select this my very long wall. Go to wall selection settings. And then uh, go to model, 
activate uh, these two textures instead of using stucco yellow rough go ahead and use your Mathera texture should be somewhere MMM should be somewhere over here with the last one just press ok yeah as you can see this is what we have over here I think I just selected this all which I should not have selected it Okay, I'll right, see what's happening over here. I'm just going to groups. But I can select this all individually. All selection settings and just basically activate this one. It must press OK. So you yeah, have it as that. I think I should readjust the position of this window so that you can at least try to get the center. Just this, let me just push on this side and this side. I think I can work with that. I have my long window over there. The next thing that I need to do is to employ different textures for the the balconies for the different walls you can use different 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 textures so let's say along I think that's what I'm going to do in my next video so I'll stop at that point